In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the reorder point for inventory. So the reorder point is the level of inventory which is going to trigger a new purchase of inventory. It's the amount where when you get down to this level of inventory, you say, okay, it's time that we do another order. We have to buy some more inventory. We're running out. Okay, so let's say that you sell boxes of chocolates at a small store and you've got five boxes of chocolates and I were to tell you hypothetically that the reorder point is three. So if the reorder point is three and you have five boxes of chocolates, you don't need to buy any more inventory. You're all set. If you sell one of the boxes of chocolates, you still have four. So you don't need to reorder any, any more boxes of chocolates. But if you sell another one, now you've got three. That's the point where you say, okay, we are hit the reorder point. We need to buy some more boxes of chocolates. Okay, so our formula for the reorder point, we're going to take the average daily usage, which that's the amount of boxes of chocolates that we would sell every day. Okay, if we plan to sell, let's say, 10 boxes of chocolates every day, that would be the average daily usage. And we multiply that by the purchase order lead time. Purchase order lead time is the number of days it's going to take us to receive new inventory if we were to make the purchase order today. So let's say I said, okay, if we buy more boxes of chocolates today, it's going to take eight days for them to actually arrive then that would be the purchase order lead time. Okay, so we just multiply the daily usage times the purchase order lead time, and that's our reorder point. So let's do an example. Let's, so we've got a coffee shop that sells two candy bars every day. Okay, and then the, when they order the candy bars, when they reorder, it takes five days for the candy bars to arrive. So then the question is, what's the reorder point? Well, let's just apply our formula. So we've got two candy bars that we sell every day. That'll be our average daily usage. So two times, what's our purchase order lead time? Well, it takes five days for them to arrive. So that's five. So two times five is 10. So how do we interpret this 10? That's the reorder point, but what does it mean? It means that we closely monitor the number of candy bars that we have in our inventory. And when we have 15, when we have 14, when we have 13, we don't need to buy any more candy bars. But when we hit 10, at that point, we have to go and do a purchase order and we have to buy more candy bars from our supplier.